Um, my name is Jerry, and I'm 10 years old this year. Um, I have school in Shanghai High School International Division, and I'm in grade four. Okay. Wow, great job, dude. <laughs> I understood every single syllable of that. I mean, you did a great job. How, are, you, are you nervous? Yeah. <laughs> you know what nervous is, right? Nervous yes. is joy, hiding as fear. Don't be afraid. Don't be nervous. Yeah. You're fun. So okay. tell us about how you're presenting today. Um, my, my present, I will talk about my invention today. Great. Please go ahead. Okay. Hello, everybody. I am Jerry, and I'm in grade four of Shanghai High School International Division, and I'm now in China, Shanghai. And the problem that my invention is trying to solve is when the people has worked outside and they've got a lot of sweat, just like this picture, and the four pictures below and you you can see them there's lots of water and but when they just randomly go to a room with air conditioner they will probably get sick and some people will like get quarantined and they might die because of a little thing like that and i think i think that's not very good because the population of the people will be less, and if there's some inventor, then it is like a big thing that is not still living on this world. And when I search for my solution, it's just like put a fan at the back of a shirt and I can draw, so that will be very nice. And when I find there, there's no like the similar way to solve my problem. And this is my plan that is instead of a shirt and this will be a fabric. So the wind, when the fan is on, the wind can be at whole back. So you will not sweat, but you will still get cold. And there's a hole so that the wind can be inside. And I also use fabric to like put a bag at back so I, we can put battery and there's a line that connects to the battery so it can work. And when I decide outside of my shirt, that's my first plan is like cut a hole inside just like theirs and still putting a fan on that. So these are two sides of that. This is the black thing. The two black thing is like flat fabric and the battery is put in there and there's electricity fan on back of my shirt. And I use rubber band to connect them together. So it, the fan can still taken off when we need to wash that. And that's my first draft. I used like hot glue gun with no decoration at back, but I think that no people would like that. So that's not very good. And when I designed my second second draft, I put my decorate and the battery at back and still there's some fabric. So and this rubber band that you can take that off. And when I finished, I and my teacher also helped me to design lots more kinds of shirts so that if I can sell them, then people have different choice of like the bicycle below is like two fans, but it's smaller. So people can choose what they want two or one. And uh, the feedbacks of like the user or they, they said they need to work for a long time, the battery and they, they wish the battery is lighter and is recyclable so they can charge it again and 
they can use it again so we don't make we only make a little pollution but not a lot and others i made the invention for like whole 10 days and the my my i give my shirt a name called the wind shirt and it can, and if putting the battery and the fan it can at least work for five years and it doesn't use on, only use the battery to make a little little pollution and i make different size and different kinds of the shirts so that people have choice thank you that's pretty cool that is a very cool very, idea very well done i love that he thought about all the different things. Uh, I have a question about your initial prototype. Is that a green devil on the back with it horns? It looks like a monster. a monster. Yeah, heat monster. <sighs> so that like some children will like it too. Nice, that's a neat idea, Jerry. How hard would it be to get it uh, where you need it to be so people could use it? What do you mean? Mm. Is it is it going to be difficult to manufacture? Um, it's not. So because the fabric, they can like use some machine and some like rope to connect them, and mm. they can use like the machine to cut the hole at back, and the hole will be round, and they can use glue to put like the rubber band inside. Also, using my machine. And if they want to draw, maybe they can download some picture and like to put on the shirt and they can put the fan inside or they can make it separated. And for the battery, maybe they, they will give some. And I think if that the back for the battery maybe is also fine because they, they can also use a machine to, con to combine them together. Yeah, you've thought through this. I loved your, uh, is iteration, do you know that word? I love the many different designs you came up with. That's very, very clever. Yeah, so I, I think because sometimes maybe the adults also want them, but they think not their kinds will like that because like there's some flower like a plum and a bicycle maybe bicycle and the monsters like for bicycle is like for adults and the like the monster is like for children because the children like watch some movie mm -hmm. and maybe the sunflower and plum is for a girl because the girl like the warm color I think you should do one that's a dragon, and the dragon is blowing all the heat out of the shirt. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, but I think we need like we need the circle shape. So I I need the circle shape in the picture, so I can take off that part of the picture, so I can put the fan inside and use color to color it. And when right. it's on, it's still a picture. What do you think it's going to feel like? Um, I'm sorry, I'm speaking too fast. What will it feel like when you're wearing the shirt and the fan is running? Because mm -hmm. I've been hot and standing in front of the fan and it gets cold. Yeah, it's will cold. And when you just wear it outside, you will not sweat because it's cool. And mm. I, um, when I try it myself, it's like very cool down. Okay. So you, you can feel there's wind at the back of ourselves and like it's pushing us. So do I ask about um, dehydration? Do you know that word? No. Um, well, when you sweat, it's your body cooling yourself. But if you have a fan that's blowing all the sweat off you, you're losing large amounts of water. Have you thought um, about but that? I know like the little, the fat is so little that it does not have very powerful wind. That's a good answer. It doesn't blow right. off some, but it will still keep us warm. 
Okay. Gary, Gary, I am I am very, very impressed, not only with your invention, but with your presentation. You you did an excellent job explaining what you have invented. And that is a, a very good skill. So congratulations. Indeed. Do me a favor, Jerry. Thumbs up. Hold on. Hold it. Once more. Good. Got it. Thank you. Smile. You did great. <laughs> you impressed us. J Jerry, how old are you? I forgot. How old? I'm 10 years old. 10 years old. Boy. In fourth grade. What, what is your next invention? Oh, I have no idea. But you're going, to, <laughs> you're going to think of something, aren't you? Yeah. Never, never stop thinking. Never stop thinking. Very good. I, I echo, uh, I believe the same thing Jake does. You are a world-class communicator. You are very, very good at public speaking. Be nice to yourself. You're very good at it. Thank you for that. You're very welcome. You deserve it. Thank yeah. you. Bye. And Bye, Jerry. And Bye. Jerry, Jerry, I feel very sorry. I feel very sorry for Jackie. Yeah. <laughs> Jackie came here because he thought you needed help in translating, and you don't need any help at all. So. Yes. Thank yeah. You. I Thank you, Jackie. We appreciate, we appreciate your effort. Yes. Good that Jerry can do all the presentation by himself. Just <laughs> Excellent. He was absolutely excellent. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye, Jerry. Bye.